I'm speeding. Speeding? Are you so, are you doing the speed limit or you're going faster than? I'm going fast. Oh no, Jim. Jim, watch out. Because we're faster than the world. We're faster than the world. We're faster than the world. We can't slow, slow down. down. Wow, that was great. That was a high five, but you were a handshake. I'm a handshake, man. I'm a gentleman. Okay. All right, we're ready to start this? Yeah. Okay, who's going to start this? Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen. gentlemen. Why do you always got to try to match what I say? <laughs> Welcome back to So Discussions. Wow. In a new location. Shh, they top don't know secret. That. The location is in front of this thing. Okay, we're here like we always are. Every time, the same seats. Ready to rock and roll, ready to wow. taste some soda. I'm Dan. I'm Jeff. Dan, what's yeah. your favorite dream you've ever had? I, don't, I can't think of a favorite dream off the top of it. Okay, okay, two, I just thought of one. Yeah. I gotta tell both though. Sure. I'm Reoccurring here. dream, the dream that happens most <laughs> is Jack Nicholson has murdered my entire family <laughs> and he's okay. in my great grandmother's house and I'm chasing him through the house. But when he gets out the back door and slams it shut, mm -hmm. when I open the back door, it's a train station and he's on the train driving away, waving. And I what can't what era Jack Nicholson is this? The Shining. That makes a lot more yeah. sense. Because so, if it was like anger management Jack Nicholson, it would kind of be a little creepier, but it wouldn't yeah. make as much sense. Um, so that's the reoccurring dream. My favorite dream is probably me auditioning for The Clash after Joe Strummer died. You've told me that several times, and so he's not lying. They, he's telling the truth. They really liked my audition, guys. Well, did you join The Clash? I did join The Clash. Whoa! And we went on tour and Green Day opened for us. What? I'm surprised you didn't open for Green Day. Jeff, what's your favorite dream? My favorite dream is World Peace, Dan. I mean, that's... No, it's not. It's not my favorite dream. I mean, you... Let's just say, like, for those that don't know Jeff, he is a Marine, Semper Fi, and he served <laughs> yeah, overseas. I did. Three tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, I did. And what's your kill count? We don't talk about that, that's right? Many. Okay. That's not many. But Jeff is against world peace. Hate it. Can't stand it. He if knows. you have any peace, get it the fuck out of here. We don't want your world peace. <laughs> You call me piece of shit. Pinko. You pinko scum. Is that a slur? I don't know. It's all a slur. Yeah. Jeff. Yeah. What is Coca-Cola's dream? Coca-Cola had a dream. And their dream was to pump this unhealthy shit throughout the world. They want everybody in the world to drink this rather than water. So that has electrolytes. Uh, this is Dream World, limited edition. Coca-Cola Creations. It's the fourth one we've done on the show. Um, only have a little can because they're expensive. Times like, are tough. Like a can of 10 for like $7 or I could have bought a bottle for two fifty. dollars That's ridiculous. But this is dream flavored. Mm. Again, with their bullshit marketing. Um, so Jeff, we yeah. have tried space flavored. Space flavored. I'm starting at my pinky. You're starting at your pointer. Yeah, because you're doing the European model. Yes. I'm doing the Iraqi Afghan model. We come from France. Yes. Uh, we've done space flavored. We've done... Marshmallows was that next? That yes, but that was strawberry watermelon. Strawberry watermelon. They told us what that was. Okay, they didn't just say this tastes like an EDM producer's ball. Oh no, we did Pixar's bites. marshmallow. Yeah, bite flavor. That was pixel flavored Pixar. And this is dreams. <laughs> this is this tastes and like dreams. So have we tasted all of the Coca Cola creations? Yes, this is all of them. Okay. You have not had this yet. I had this yet. I made two TikToks. Yeah, guys, and if YouTube Shorts on this. Um, this makes no sense to promo our TikTok because the TikTok is solely here to feed viewers to this. So if you're already watching this, congratulations, you won. Yes. And the prize is us. That's an awful prize. Yeah. So Jeff, yeah. why don't you crack this Let's bad crack boy open? open? Let's do it. Ooh, it's got a nice snap. Smell it. Why don't you smell it? Take a little sniff. Ooh, that smells like fake mango. Or as I like to call it, fango. I can't pour a lot because we have we're rationing. To try this out. Yeah, this is just brown. So if you remember, the starlight was like a reddish hue. Yep. All these other ones are just Coke. They color. gave up on the color. Yeah, they were like, we can't afford to die. I'm scared of this. Oh, Why do really? we have to have fruit in our sodas all the time? Because it, fruit is the way. Cheers. I like, oh, I just did the head tilt and you I did. didn't even. And you to said do I it. like that at the same time. I like that. I, I like That's that. Dan. This is what Dan does. He takes a sip. No, that, that, yeah. That, I like that. The head tilt is more of like an okay. I like that. In my head, I'm thinking, okay, um, like processing. 
It's what I was going to say is. Does I, it taste like Jack Nicholson? Can I finish my thought? Okay. Uh, it does. No, it tastes like Joe Strummer's corpse, which tastes like success. Uh, no, I like it more than I thought I would because it doesn't taste like fake mangoes. Like that's in does the it taste smell. like real mango? Because I immediately thought it just tastes like, I don't know if you saw my video, but I, I don't thought, watch that shit. Thank God. Um, I thought it just tastes like mango. Um, and Pepsi has part of their regular lineup, Pepsi Mango, which Jeff, I think tastes better than this. I'm going to blow you away here. I love being blown. The palate is going to really shock you. And it's okay. going to be those one of those instances where the first thing I say, it's going to hit you. And you're not going to accept it. You're going to go... And then when it sinks in, if you're man enough to admit it, you're going to be able to say like, oh, he's right. Can I guess? Yeah. Fruity Pebbles. Nope. Oh, is it fruit? Yes. One last sip to make sure the palate is calibrated. I'm going to go something with like a, maybe a guava papaya. Something tropical. You nailed it. This is Coca-Cola papaya, folks. Coca-Cola papaya. It does also kind of taste like hot dog water. A classic New York staple. No. <laughs> Um, so what yeah, do you think it, about that summation? No, that's fair because it's not just like pure mango. It does taste a little lighter, but it, 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 it's tropical. Like, you know, it's tropical. I narrowed it down to mango. A lot of other people also thought it was mango flavored and there is, it's definitely mango in there, Yeah, but it, it also could be like a papaya. Guava, flavor. passion yeah. fruit. Those are really hard to discern unless you have them like on or the unless you together. know or you're actually eating the fruit. Yeah. I really yeah. want to do uh, a generic West Indian accent, but that's probably not a good idea. No, don't do that. OK. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I enjoy it. Uh, I'm trying to think of where I would rank it with the other ones. Yeah, of, of the creations, it's probably the best or maybe tied with Marshmallow. None of them have been great. See, we're, we differ on what's the first one? Starlight. Yeah. I actually yeah. really enjoy Starlight. You didn't like it. For me, this is going to be right around that starlight level. That's that's like the bottom. Yeah. I would say you're wrong. And I don't think we have an extra starlight to compare all of them. We have extras of the other ones. But I would say this and marshmallow, they're pretty equal. Even the flavoring is pretty similar. Hold on. So you've been oh. smart enough. That was a Dan thing to do. You've been smart enough to actually hold on to duplicates of these. Yeah, except for starlight. Yeah. Well, I can get a starlight. When we know that these are all done, we're gonna have to do a side by side taste. Can test you get a starlight? Right? You know someone who has them because they're not in the stores anymore. I probably can't get a starlight then. <laughs> <laughs> we're but, gonna work on that. If you've got a, if you've got, I was gonna say a copy of Starlight. If you've got a Coca Cola <laughs> Starlight, DM us or yeah. comment, and we will hook up with you. Yeah, because I we will I hated that. I didn't want it. Pay um, you only what would we would pay at a store. We will pay you no extra for, for legal reasons. Yes. Yeah. And bite was gross because it was zero only, mm -hmm. but the flavor was just like I don't sweeter. remember it. I barely remember it. It was, it was just kind like of like a sweeter light berry. Coke. Yeah. yeah, like a blackberry. So yeah, this was this was Dream World. I liked um, it. Not not super impressed by it. It's not gross. I think, I mean, soda now is just more expensive than I care to pay for it. It is. So if I'm getting a soda, I want to get something that I actually will enjoy and not just like, this is rare. This won't be around that much longer. So, you know, I got this to try it. And for the show, I probably won't buy anymore. Yeah. yeah can we talk right. about, I haven't like, we haven't talked about inflation on this show. It's not really what this show's about, <laughs> but no. Can I just say yeah. that it's very noticeable in soda. I don't want to spoil an upcoming episode, but I bought like a very normal soda. It's not a rare soda. It's not anything strange. Well, part part of soda specifically. Now, I don't want to get into all of inflation because they say there's an 8% inflation, but everything is up like 20%. Make it make sense, Joe Biden. It's variable. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. I don't get it. But with soda in particular, there was an aluminum shortage mm. in the beginning of the pandemic that they're still not caught up with because nothing will ever catch up. This is just life and it's going to stay this way or get worse. Mm -hmm. And, you know, big companies like Coca-Cola obviously got aluminum over smaller companies. Yeah. So you see a lot more price increases in the smaller. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I am explaining the inflation in here. This is so discussions. We talk about inflation and aluminum shortages. Jeff, you know what my dream is? What? No inflation, no money, everybody equal. Socialism, Dan, mm. communism. Yeah. That's what I fought in the wars for on my <laughs> yacht. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. Like and subscribe.
Welcome to Soda Discussions, where it's we have crazy. a bunch of dogs next door. <laughs> and the dog says hello. So Keith, have you tried this yet? No, I saw it in the store and I was like, these guys have to try this. Yeah. And uh, we are. We We're are. So I'm not going to spoil it until after. It smells like mango. I like it. it is, this is my favorite Coca-Cola, I think, ever. Um, it's really fucking good. And I've been drinking it every time I go to stop. We go to stop and shop for lunch a lot of the time. I always pick up a Coke Dream World and I am very sad to see it go at some point. Yeah. Because it's very good. Yeah, it's uh, I I think overall like this is a this is a great Coca Cola flavor, a little little divergent, you know. Mm -hmm. I could see this being a standard. Yeah, for sure. I wish it was, and I don't think it will be. Yeah, which is kind of a bummer, there. but yeah, I like it a lot. It's really really good. Yeah, so it's, it's refreshing. I think I love refreshing. the I love the can design too, like in the bottle design, like it, it's very pleasing to the eye, very dreamlike. I don't really get the naming convention, whatever, but um, yeah, I think it's great. Try this soda. Like and subscribe. Give me my ball. <laughs> She's not pleased. I got a dog. <laughs>